Um, so we're going to read out of the little book of mindfulness again. Um, this is actually the very first insert that they have in the book. And I really, I really like it. So it says, when you are on a journey, it is certainly helpful to know where you're going. But remember, the only thing that is ultimately real about your journey is the step that you are taking at this moment. That's all there ever really is. That's a great reminder as we move and breathe throughout our practice. When our mind starts to wander or we get disconnected, we can just simply bring ourselves back, back into the present moment and uh, allow ourselves to feel what's, what's really showing up for us in the moment. So let's start in a comfortable seat. Maybe roll your shoulders out a couple times. Stretch the neck. If you feel any tightness there in the neck and shoulders. And come back to center and exhale all the air out. You can even sigh out the mouth. And then we'll breathe in through the nose. To the top and then exhale out the nose to the bottom. Breathing in front of the heart. And breathing behind the heart. Circulating the breath. Imagine sending oxygen to all the cells, all the parts of the body. Breath is a great way to bring us into the present moment. And just check in, notice how we're feeling. But also to switch our nervous system to a relaxed, at least more relaxed state. Let's take a couple more deep breaths. Filling up the belly, the ribs, the chest. as you use the diaphragm and the lungs. And take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And we'll start with just a gentle spinal twist today. So reach the arms up overhead. Take a big breath in, and then when we exhale, twist to the right. Ringing out the spine. And stay with your deep breaths. Notice where you feel tight or tension. And bring some extra awareness to that place. We'll release this side, reach the arms back up. And exhale, twist to the other side. Sitting tall from the sit bones. You can imagine the air circulating the spine up and down. And waking up our energy centers, also known as chakras. Now let's release this side, flip the arms back up one more time. And then cactus the arms. You wiggle the fingers, you could even roll the wrists out. And then come back to open palm. <clears throat> Feel that stretch across your chest. Go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. 
On the exhale, I welcome you to open the mouth and stick the tongue out so you stretch the jaw. We call this lion's breath. We'll do that two more times. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. So release the hands back down to the lap. And just take one more deep breath in. And deep breath out. And we'll start to transition into our movement practice. Come on to your hands and knees. <clears throat> and begin with a few rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, you'll drop the belly, gaze up. And exhale, press and round away. And keep moving with your breath. If one feels a little better or different than the other, like for me, my back and my upper back has been tight today. So this cat pose feels really nice. So you can always hold for an extra breath. Or even add some little movements forward and back, like a little rock to get into different parts of the spine. And we'll do three more rounds. Nice. And come back to a neutral spine. We'll move right into downward facing dog. Spread your fingers at the top of your mat. And lift the hips. This is your first down dog of the day. Take your time. Bending one knee and then the other. Stretch the calves, the hamstrings. And since we're at the end of the day here, it can feel nice to so just be still. You notice how the pose feels. Feel the stretch as you press the heels down and lift the sit bones up. And again, imagine the breath circulating through the whole body, giving you extra energy and vitality. And then take one more inhale and exhale. And then we'll rock forward to a plank pose. Stack the shoulders over your wrists. And then in your plank pose without lifting the hips, I'm going to have you rock forward and then press your heels back. So when you press the heels back, the, heel, the hips will want to lift but don't let them stay in that long line. So instead you're stretching the calves and warming up the shoulders. We'll do one more rock and then come back to neutral, lower the knees down and we'll do a few push-ups, breathing in. Exhale halfway down, inhale, press up. Just four more. Now this last one, lower all the way to the belly. And untuck the toes, press tops of the feet back, feet down. Inhale, lift your heart for cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Three more times. Good. 
Then from here, move your right arm to a cactus position off to the side of your mat. And then roll yourself over to the left and stretch your right shoulder just by using the ground and pressing down. And stack your hips, your knees, your ankles. And you can rest your head down or if it feels okay to have it floating up, you can. Either way, breathe into the right armpit. Uh, release this side. Come back to cobra start position. And then we'll switch to the other side. Left arm to cactus. Roll yourself off to the right. Good. One more breath. And we'll roll back to center. And last one here on our belly. Interlace fingertips behind the back. Keep your feet pressing down. On the inhale, you're gonna lift your chest, squeeze your shoulders, and reach your arms towards the back of your mat. You're welcome to close the eyes here. Breathe into your chest. And feel your heart open. Really nice at the end of the day. One more inhale. And exhale, we'll release. And press up and back. Take the child's pose to stretch the low back. Reach the arms forward. Lower the head down. And we'll walk the arms over to the right. <clears throat> right for a side body stretch. Breathe into your left side ribs. Walk over to the left side with your arms. Keep your head in between the biceps. As you actively stretch and reach out. Breathe into the right side. And try your best to square down with the mat, with your shoulders, pressing the right armpit down. And then come back to center. We're going to do a little step forward with our right foot. Let's tuck the back toes under for a little bit more support. And you can take a couple pulses forward and back just to feel into the legs to start. Then start to squeeze the inner thighs. Lift your hands up to the front thigh. And on the inhale, you can move the hips back a little bit, tone the belly, and then exhale, sink the hips forward, stretch into your left hip flexor, left quad. And then hold that deep low lunge, float the arms up overhead. Maybe you can look up. And inhale. And exhale, release your hands down to the mat. Lift your back knee and pulse your front knee a few times. So it might actually be better to be on your fingertips. And we'll inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. And moving between pyramid pose and low lunge. We'll do one more. And then step your left foot forward to meet the right. And a halfway lift at the top of the mat. 
And exhale, fold forward, grab up to elbows. Do a little sway side to side. Let all of the day's stress, all the day's worries, fears, anything that's kind of gotten stuck and stagnant in the body, and you're welcome to release that now. And then bring your hands back down. We'll step the right foot back, lower the knee down. And do that same sequence on the other side. So start in low lunge, pulsing forward and back. Then eventually move up to the front thigh, lift the heart, the chest. We're getting a really nice stretch here through the right quad, and maybe even up into the belly when you start to reach the arms up. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Release the hands down, so fingertips down, lift your back knee, inhale, straighten left leg, Exhale, bend. This is also a nice place to use blocks if you have blocks at home and feel like you little, need a little bit more space. We'll do one more pulse. And then right foot steps forward to meet the left. Find that halfway lift again. Just feel that space you're creating in the hamstrings and draw the belly in, take a deep inhale, exhale, fold inward, belly onto the thighs, inhale, exhale, you could even exhale out the mouth a few times, letting go, getting back into the body, into the present moment, and then curl the spine up to standing. And reach your arms up for a full body stretch. Take a big breath in and then exhale into heart. Then we'll reach just the left arm up and stretch it over to the right side. Staying grounded through the feet and the legs as you side stretch through the body. I'll release the side, swing the right arm out and up, then stretch over to the left. I don't know about you, but I get those sticky side ribs, tight muscles that connect my back my rib cage. So imagine breathing in to those sticky sides, helping them release. Kind of like warm honey, melting. And I come back to center. Again, interlace fingertips behind the back, kind of like that same feeling when we were laying on our bellies. You're gonna squeeze the shoulders, open the chest. So then stay grounded through your legs. You can even bend and straighten the knees a couple times to remind yourself, oh yeah, my muscles are engaged. My legs are actually rooting down as my chest and heart are opening up. And then we're gonna keep that open chest and take a little step back with our right foot for warrior one. So plant the heel down, bend into your left knee, and then go back to that open chest, straight arms lifting away from the low back. And you're welcome to stay here, or you can also bow forward for a little deeper stretch, left shoulder towards the left knee. 
And the nice thing practicing from home is that if you feel like you need to sigh, you can sigh. You can do and honor what your body needs without feeling judged. Now we'll slowly lift the chest back up and take a big step forward. And maybe you can switch which uh, pointer finger is on top. So have your opposite pointer finger as you step the left foot back for warrior one on the other side. It's a little shift, but it is nice to practice both ways. To, uh, you could even put your opposite thumb on top. That'll feel really weird. <laughs> um, but it is nice to practice both sides. Yoga teaches us how to find more symmetry in our left and right. So you can inhale here and exhale option to bow. Right shoulder towards the right knee. This also provides a nice stretch for the right hip. And slowly release and step forward again. That might have felt a lot for the shoulders, so make some big circles with your elbows. And then come back to standing with your palms facing forward. Just notice how the body feels after that posture. Hopefully more open through the chest and the heart, which we tend to close off when we're busy throughout our day. And on the inhale, reach both arms up this time. And on the exhale, we'll sink into chair pose. We'll bend into the knees, pull the belly in, lift your toes up. And imagine you're trying to separate your feet away from each other. I'll give you a little more activation in your glutes. And today we're just gonna take some longer holds to really feel our muscles fire and get stronger. So stay in your chair and on the exhale, airplane the arms back, squeeze your shoulders. And for something a little different, you can actually have your palms facing in. And for extra work, you could add a little pulse. It's like you're pulsing a ball behind your back. We'll hold for three, two, and one. Straighten the legs, fold forward. Take an extra breath at the bottom. And then plant your fingertips on your mat. We're just going to take a little step back with our right foot. Keeping the legs straight this time for pyramid. Now you can keep hands on the ground, or if you wanna work on balance, you can bring them up to your ankle. Or if you're enjoying the theme of heart opening, you can interlace fingertips behind the back again. So any of those are great. We'll take about five breaths. And really send your breath into the stretch. So the left hamstring, maybe in the shoulders. You could also practice a heavy head, using the head to help decompress the spine. Good. And then bring your fingertips back down to the top of your mat. Step your right foot forward and meet the left, find that halfway lift. And exhale, fold. And the inhale, curl your spine up to standing, reach the arms. Exhale to heart center. 
Inhale, reach arms back up. Exhale, bow forward. Fingertips down, step your left foot back for pyramid on the other side. Both legs straight, feel really grounded, rooted through the feet. And then try your, the same variation on this side. Anytime we bow forward and let our head hang heavy, this gives our body a chance to relax. And to turn inward. Good job. We'll take one more breath. Step forward, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Curl the spine back up. Reach the arms high. And exhale into heart. And take a breath in and a breath out. And take a little bit of balance. So shift weight into your left leg and peel your right leg up. You can maybe bring hands on the hips, make sure the hips are even. And you can stay here if you want to grab the knee. One hand, both hands. We're gonna work on the bend of the standing leg. Just bend and straighten that left knee. And then see if you can lift that left heel and lower back down. A few times working on balance. And then hug the knee in if you're grabbing it. And then we'll kick release that side. And switch sides. Shift weight into your right leg. Peel your left leg up. Option to grab the knee. And we'll work on the bend of the right knee. Bend and straighten, just getting bouncy. And then lift the heel. Two times, working on balance. And then we'll kick release that side. And come back to standing. And pause for a moment. Just notice how you feel after balancing on both sides. And on the inhale, you'll reach the arms up. And then exhale, bow forward. And then step your right foot back. We're going to plant the heel all the way down this time and windmill the arms open for warrior two. So left toes are facing forward, the knee is bent, right leg is straight and strong. And we're reaching the arms actively forward and back, creating a long line. You can pulse a few times into your left knee. And then hold your warrior two. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, reach your left arm high for side body stretch. And we'll inhale and then exhale, extended side angle, left forearm down, right arm up. Scoop the left hip underneath you. Good, and then come back up to your warrior two. And from here, I just want you to scoot your back foot in a couple, actually about a foot, okay? 
So we're gonna work on a little balance. I want you to keep your hips open and try to keep your left toes facing forward. You're gonna try and lift off that back leg and then tap back down. So this is a variation of half moon. I'm just working on coming in and out of it a few times. And on the last one, I'll have you hold. And you can stay here, or if full half moon is in your practice, you might be able to get those left fingertips all the way to the ground or to a block. Take one more breath and then slowly come back out of it. Nice job. Reach the left arm high so you get that opposite side stretch. And then release and step to the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, reach the arms up. Full body stretch, exhale, fold forward. Step your left foot back this time. Turn the foot 90 degrees and windmill your arms up for warrior two. On the other side, pulse the front knee. And then hold your warrior two. And really notice your pose right here, right now, today. Your warrior two today will be different than your warrior two next Monday. So reach your right arm up, side stretch. And then exhale, extended side angle. Right forearm down, left arm up and over. Inhale, pull back up to your warrior two. Take about a foot step in with your back foot. Keep your hips open, start to tip forward. Work on your variation of half moon. You're finding balance, keeping the hips stacked. And obviously it's okay if you're a little wobbly. On this last one, we'll hold. Maybe you can get those right fingertips to the floor. Maybe not, it's okay. Take your time to rise back up with control. Step to the top of the mat. Take a deep breath in and out. Notice your present moment, mind, body, heart, spirit. What's showing up for you right now? And let it be enough. You can drop your arms by your sides. We'll go back to a little bit of balance and airplane. So step your right toes back, shift weight into your left leg, and lift off. Since we're practicing an open heart today, really squeeze your shoulders and open the chest. But at the same time, I don't want you to flare your ribs. So pull the low ribs in, pull the belly in, and then get long through top of head, back of toes. 
We return to the breath. Inhale and exhale back to standing. Pause for a breath. Step your left toes back. And look into that right leg. Extend through the left. We want even hips here. So inner spiral your back thigh. more inhale and exhale come back to standing deep breath in deep breath out and one more inhale and exhale and one more balance pose we'll reach the arms up this is kind of a variation of thing of poses we've done already and adding them together. So shift weight into your left leg, peel your right leg up, take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, try to transition back to that airplane, but keep your arms up. So it's a little bit more challenging this time with that long body, reaching the limbs. Nice job. Take one more breath and then try to lift that right knee back up. Single leg balance, kick, relax. Pause. Might feel the heartbeat increase. Maybe deeper breaths. And then we'll switch sides. So reach the arms back up, biceps by the ears. We want our arms to be active, but we want to try to relax through the tra trapezius muscles. So relax through your neck. And then lift your left knee. And then try to transition back to warrior three. which is airplane with arms extended. Nice job. Pull that left knee back up, single leg balance, and kick, release. Go ahead, maybe shake out the arms. Come up to the top of your mat. On the inhale, open up to your cactus. Exhale, curl hands down to the knees, round through the back, stretch. So moving chair, on the inhale we open. Exhale, we round. All right, on this next one, we'll just round all the way down to our um, to a seat on our mat. And grab behind the knees. You can either take a couple half rolls like this, scooping the belly, creating a C shape. Or if you like, I love spinal rolls. I think it's really nice along the spine. So if you like to do that, you could do those instead. Get all the kinks out. Might even hear a couple pops. All 
Good. Let's do one more. We'll all meet in a seat. Find the sit bones underneath you. We'll work on our boat pose. So lengthen the chest, sit tall. Keep that tall spine as you lean back. Start to float the feet. And if you need to continue to hold on to the thighs, you can. Or if you want to release the arms out by the sides, you can do that as well. Now breathe. You feel your deep, low belly muscles working. Good, three more breaths. And one, nice job. Slowly release the feet down and then roll all the way down onto your back. And keep your knees bent, your feet flat. We're gonna do a couple curls for our abdominals and our spinal health. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, you're gonna lift your head and shoulders and arms are gonna reach for the ankles. And we'll do that nine more times, so 10 total. But after you get your 10th crunch, I want you to relax at the bottom and feel your energy start to root down into your mat and come back again to this very moment that you have right now and take a big breath and feel gratitude for that breath, for being able to come onto your mat today. And then we'll move into a bridge pose. So pelvic tilt, press your low back down into the mat and start to curl the spine up. And we'll hold bridge, so press the arms actively down into your mat. If you'd like to interlace the fingertips, that will give you a little bit more of that heart opening. But uh, you can also do that just by pressing the arms down. You can feel your chest lift and open. And in bridge pose, we give our bellies lots of space to breathe deeply. So take advantage of that open belly. You can feel your glutes. Firing your inner thighs, working towards each other. Take another deep breath in. And then exhale, slowly lower spine down. Do a couple windshield wipers with your knees side to side. You can move your arms out. Help keep you pinned down. Nice job. Now bring your legs up to a tabletop and we'll move into just some um, alternating toe taps to work on our abdominals again and practice that neutral spine. So if you were to bring a hand underneath your low back right now, you might be able to get the fingertips a little bit under, but they shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to get your whole arm, you know, all the way through. So a neutral spine just has a little curve in the back. So try to keep that curve as you tap the right toes down and then inhale back up. Left toes down, inhale back up. That's one and we're gonna go to 10. So each side will count as one, that's two. 
three. really nice way to work your abdominals without straining the neck and if you're feeling this a lot in your hip flexors that means you need to engage your abs just a little bit more And now we should be close on that. Maybe one more each side. And then hug your knees in. Ah, should feel really nice for the low back. You can add a little rock side to side across the kidneys. Then I'm gonna have you bring your legs back up to tabletop and we're gonna work a little bit for those inner thighs. So right leg is going to move out to the right. Everything else stays stable as you pull back up. And then left leg out to the left. Inner thigh draws you back up. So nothing else is moving besides that leg. And you're not, um, you're keeping that 90 degree angle. So the knee isn't bending any more or any less. So here we're connecting the inner thigh with the abdominals. We'll do a few more side to side. And then when you come back to center, you're, I want you to think of clams on your back. So you're gonna keep your feet together. Knees go wide, knees pull together. Knees go wide, knees pull together. So we often, most of the time we do clams on our side. But what I like about doing it on our back is that you, I'm sure you can feel this in your abs. And you're also working both legs at the same time instead of just the Upper leg or top leg. Three, two, and one. Good. Hug the knees back in. And then we're going to rock ourselves up to get off of our back and do a little stretch forward for our low backs as a counter stretch to our bridge. So inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, just walk yourself forward over the legs. If you can reach the toes, you can pull the toes back. If not, you can just flex the feet and try to spread your toes wide. Now slowly come up. We'll add spinal twist. Bring your right foot over the left knee. Big hug with your left arm. Bring right hand back behind you. So not only is this a spinal twist, but you should also feel a stretch in your right glute and hip. More breath. Good. Now, before we switch to the other side, I want you to grab this right leg and kind of lift it up. Use both of your arms and rock that right leg side to side. So we're massaging that right hip joint. And then bring it back to center and circle your shin. So you're not circling just the foot, but you're just trying to stir the shin in one direction and then the other. And then we'll place that right foot on the left inner thigh 
and stretch just down the left leg. And slowly come back up. And we'll switch sides. Bring left foot over the right knee. Big hug with your right arm. Left hand behind you. And as you twist, it's important to give yourself space to breathe. So when you breathe in, it's a gentler, you release the twist a little bit, and then when you breathe out, it's a deeper twist. It's like you're wringing out a sponge. Twists are not just good for your muscles, they're really important for your organs to work properly as well. They help the body naturally detox. We'll release that side. Bring your spine back to center. Use both of your arms and hands to rock the left leg side to side. This hip is tighter for me, so you might feel a difference in your sides. And then circle the shin. Both directions. We'll place left foot on the right inner thigh and bow down over that right leg, folding forward. Nice job. Slowly come up, have your feet hip width distance apart. You're gonna bring your fingertips back behind you. We're gonna work on a reverse tabletop, again for that heart opening and opening through the chest. So on the inhale, lift your hips. And we're just gonna hold here at the top today. So breathe into your shoulders. And keep lifting the hips up. And take a deep breath in. And exhale, slowly lower the hips back down. Move into a butterfly pose, feet together, knees wide. You can roll the wrists out so they, or just at least bring them in the opposite direction, because I know that is a lot on the wrists, but really nice opening for the shoulders. And then we'll open for the hips. So inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, bow forward and use your arms to help press down into the legs. Stretching the hips, the low back. Good, you now lift your chest. Now you have the option to do um, butterfly pose again, or if you'd like to work on straightening the legs, you can straighten both of the legs out to a wider split. Try to flex your toes. If you have enough space to have a long spine, then you can lean forward. If you feel really crowded in your back, I want you to bring your hands back behind you and just work on sitting tall, okay? So maybe you start behind the back and then eventually start to lean forward. It's a pretty deep stretch for the inner thighs. And if you feel a pull behind your knees, um, it might be nice to bend the knees a little bit or 
place something under the knees, maybe blocks. And just don't force anything. We'll take a few more breaths. Nice job, slowly walk yourself back up. Grab behind the knees. Now you're welcome to lay down here if you want to finish with a longer Shavasana. Um, if not, we're gonna practice a few, uh, just a couple breathing techniques. And then, yeah, we only have four minutes left. So if you wanna relax your four minutes, you're welcome to lay flat on the back. But I feel like alternate nostril breathing would be a great, um, a great practice to include today. So alternate nostril breathing helps us balance out the left side and the right side of our body and our brain. You'll feel kind of this um, clearing sensation and also just like an opening of, of your thoughts and of your mind. Um, so everyone has a different experience and every time you do it, it's a little different, but you can use the right hand. Um, the right thumb will close off the right nostril and you'll exhale all the air out of the left nostril. And then breathe in through the left nostril. Close off the left, exhale out the right. And then you just repeat. So inhale right. Close it off, exhale left. We'll go for about another minute. See if you can intentionally slow your breath down. You can finish breathing out the left nostril and then lower your right hand and breathe evenly through both nostrils. And feel that clearing sensation as you breathe in and out. Bringing the body back into balance through our left side and right side, also known as our more feminine and more masculine, more creative, more productive. Being able to use both of these sides allows us to feel more balanced and connected. You're welcome to lay down or you can stay in a seated position for meditation or Shavasana, final relaxation. After Nadi Shodhana, it's nice to just be 
to just be in the moment, to be in your body, and to relish in the experience of relaxing, of breathing, sitting quietly. And as we close our practice, we're going to come back to our quotes that we started class with. Feel free to keep your eyes closed and stay inside. When you are on a journey, it is certainly helpful to know where you're going. But remember, the only thing that is ultimately real about your journey is the step that you are taking at this moment. That's all there ever is. So with that in mind, let's finish our practice together with one deep breath. Exhale all the air. Take a deep breath in. And let it go. So here's to staying present and to having the awareness of when we are not when we're not present maybe we're thinking about the past or the future or we're anxious or we're fearful we can come back to this class this practice and remember that all we have is right here right now namaste mm.